welcome everyone to your chakra reading for September. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you and your chakras for the month. Talking about being at service. Nice. Being at service for others. Um, really talking about gathering with your family, um, doing things that can give the joy of service, precious memories, contentment. What is your, you know, what's your current situation where you feel like you can give at this time and really wanting to give um, with that uh, sacral chakra over here, talking about the desire to want to do so, giving that extra time and extra special care um, towards your loved ones, uh, the life purpose. This is kind of your life purpose in your own way um, with the <clears throat> throat chakra. It is our life purpose to actually want to help and be at service for other people. That's why we are together on a planet together. <laughs> Um, family, definitely talking about family. So really wanting to be at service for your family at this time and really feeling like there's some kind of connection going on with you um, that's really going to make you feel like you are more connected to them. Um, and, you know, bringing in that life purpose is that joy, that happiness, knowing that they do feel loved. And it also helps you as well feel balanced through the communication of helping others. So... This card is also talking about manifesting your birthright um, as a purpose right now um, into reality. For some of you, it might even be, you know, uh, maybe you're a nurse and maybe you need to go to nursing school because your family members are nurses. Whoa, I just, yeah. And it's almost like the unexpected doors are open for opportunities that you could never imagine could actually happen when you're at service for other people. Because when you give to others, things come to you. So that's that law and attraction of um, what comes around, goes around um, type of scenario as well. So kind of keeping it, all of those into order. Um, for some of you, I do feel like it's some kind of family thing though too. Um, knowing that I should probably be a nurse. I really feel that way. My mom's a nurse, my grandma's a nurse, something like that. Um, which really opens up the life purpose of what your soul was here to, to do was to be at service for others. So you might even feel that huge connection. Um, windfall of abundance, whatever it is that's going on with huh, around some, you know, whichever scenario it is for you, there is a windfall of abundance coming towards you, but that's that what comes around goes around. Um, really feeling those angel points and that karmic tie really coming through. It's going to bring in an abundance of happiness and joy, not only to you, but others as well. Um, and when we bring happiness to others, we definitely get it back. Um, and you feel it right away. Um, this is definitely some kind of compassion thing that's really big for you. An increase in abund abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this is the abundance comes to you to support your life purpose. Whoa, there it is, the life purpose. Health and charitable work. And charitable work and the service. Wow, couldn't get any better cards than that. Wow. I love it when they just fly out like that. And this is bringing in some kind of opportunity that's going to really be exciting time for you. You're also going to find a lot of laughter and a lot of love and content out of this situation when you're at service for others. It's going to be a strong connection that you have coming towards you. So if you know that this is something that you have been thinking about doing, you definitely want to make this the time in your life to do so. Okay, so it definitely is going to... Um, be a big positivity for you. You might even find that this is the domestic thing that really needs to happen within the life of your family. Um, maybe you know that somebody is not doing good and you need to go bring in that extra love and care um, to a family member who is sick or maybe ill, um, old, dying, something of this nature. Um, but it's going to increase so many more opportunities for you as you are giving all of this stuff to someone else because that is really what law and attraction is also is what you guys know this what comes around goes around I say it all the time right you give you get back this isn't one of those things though I'm gonna tell you right now this isn't one of those things though that you assume you get something back from um, because why? Because it's one of those things that when I'm there and I'm loving and I'm caring, I'm not ex I'm not doing it because I want something back out of it. This is, you know, it's, the universe is telling you you're going to get something back out of it. But it was never the intention. 
And I know you guys. And it's never the intention that you were like, wow, I'm going to go spend time with grandma who's not doing good. But I expect that I'm going to, you know, get something back out of it. No, that's why it says it's very unexpected to receive something. Yes, see the point? Because the, you don't, you know, if you see somebody starving and you give them food, you don't expect the universe to, you know, give something back. That wasn't, you didn't think about that, right? You didn't think, wow, if I gave her a sandwich because she's starving to death, wow, the universe is going to give me a bunch of money and a new car and all, you know what I'm saying? No, that's why it's very unexpected. Because no matter what, you can't get away from those things. Because no matter what, what comes around goes around. You do nice things for other people, other things, great things happen to you, unexpected or not. And I don't know very many people who would expect something out of that. Yeah, my grandma told me that one time too. You know, you keep giving to the homeless, all, you know, blah, 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 when I was younger. <clears throat> because I used to work as a waitress and I used to give free soup out. You know, but when I gave the free soup out, guys, I never expected anything out of that, you know. But she used to just always, just, you know, used to say angel points and comes in so many different ways, um, you know. But you don't do that to get something back. You just do it out of the generosity of your own heart, the love of your own self, the love for another. So, yes, it's going to be a very weird windfall for you because it's something you're not expecting. You're going to be like, I don't, I didn't even want anything out of it. So with the 10 of coins, it's saying, yeah, the life purpose is for the success of what it is you're giving out because what you get out, you return. The king of cups, you could be dealing with a Pisces, some kind of water sign that really needs your help at this moment, really giving them the service, whether it's just the communication you know, hey, I, I'm going to check up on you, see if you're okay. But remember, the craziest thing is, is that means that when you get older, right, somebody's going to come do the same for you. And when you're not feeling good, someone's going to come do the same for you. It might even be the same person. But, right? It's a relationship. The relationship is the faith and having the understanding of the commitment of what we do as human beings. The soul wants you to do the things that the life purpose has. Remember, it grows on things. It learns from things. It wants you to be compassionate as well. It wants you to have all your chakras in a row because that's the soul energy. The soul energy that we're talking about right now is being at service with the desire of the compassion of the communication. Why? Because... The compassion of the heart is the middle of the source of it all. So, of course, you give out the desires to want to go and be at service, having that communication, maybe even bringing up some creativity of something or another. Maybe you're doing something creative with them. Um, you know, maybe being even with your kids, maybe you're just going out and being creative with them. However it is, it's the commitment to yourself and to your soul as a human being um, to do so. And like I said, that will open up your heart chakra and bring out your soul. Yeah, that's that's the star. I said soul. That's that's it right there. It's more soul than anything. Your soul is the understanding of what the destiny is as we are here as human beings. Our souls are here as humans on a journey. So it wants to learn. It wants to evolve. It wants you to have goals. It wants to do things. There's going to be good news in terms of the things that you're doing with your family, with your friends within your domestic area of your life, right? It's going to make positive changes to your soul within the body. Bringing you together as a two of cups into a one of cups. So yeah, everything is going to be balanced. There it is. The balance is it's justified. It's, it's on good terms. And it is very justified for this to happen because this is where the soul says this is the justice, the justice, the justice card, the judgment card, you know, good karma. This is saying this is where the karma is going to come in. And this is what you want to do. We are karmic beings. Humans are karmic beings. We work on negative karma and positive karma. And this is bringing in that beautiful positive karma, which my grandma like. Like I said earlier, she always used to call it angel points. <clears throat> so.
so, which are just the rewards for the good karma, uh, the Queen of Cups. And this is being able to look deep within that cup of intuition and knowing that this is what's really going on around you um, and really bringing in the emotional set and flexibility to be able to make the positive changes that are not only going to make this other person happy, but make yourself happy and everybody who might be involved happy as well. So there's a lot of things that are going on around you right now during this Mercury retrograde. And I'm bringing that in because this is Mercury retrograde. We're talking about karma. Mercury retrogrades are karmic. So you're bringing in all this good karma while during a Mercury retrograde. Now, how amazing is that, right? Because now you're saying, I'm going to set aside all the other things that were there, get to the life path of the purpose of why we are here, and really start beginning to follow this new piece right now that I need to keep myself balanced. And you know, guys, not only are you going to open up your own chakras, you're going to open up theirs as well for their compassion and creativity and the areas that they need as well. So this is definitely a two-in-one story because you're putting yourself out there to really shift not only your life into its life purpose, but doing it for another. So you're really bringing those two pieces together. And just because it might be a, a temporary situation, right? Not long-term. It might not be long-term. It might even be something that you decide to do long-term. You know, I had a really good time. Um, but however it is, it's shifting and really expanding, like I said, not only for yourself, but for another. And then it's going to bring in this beautiful um, opportunity, but it's expanding towards others. I love that because it's bringing in this commitment, saying everything's going to be fine. Wow. And like I said, even if it's only for a little while, it's good enough because you're showing what you need to show and doing what you're supposed to be doing. Oh. Write that in the Akashic Records, right? <laughs> like, wow, I'm going to go back and read your Akashic Records and be like, wow, look at what you did. Holy, not only did you do it, not just for yourself, but you did it for another because you had the idea this is what I want to be in service for, for my life purpose of going and helping others as a nurse, as something, and changing other people's lives, or just expanding yourself out to your family and really getting it done. And it could even be two in one, but it's making a huge change. And not only is it changing, like I said, everything around you, it's also changing the relationship as well, giving the opportunities. I'm telling you, some of you, it's a water sign that you're going to go do this with. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, that is definitely going to make a huge, huge, the opportunity, I think, of, for a lot of you is also some kind of marker. It's like a marker. You're, you're making a marker within your life and someone else's life as well. Wow. And like I said, even though it might be for short term, I think the marker that you're making is going to bring in for a lifetime because it's going to be something that you're going to it's a task that needs to be kind of completed within the life purpose. Maybe it's something you've been putting off for a while and you know that you should be there, but now you're going to exercise this routine of doing this for, you know, maybe a couple of days or so, uh, maybe a weekend, however, but it's going to make, or maybe even your lifetime, if you're becoming a nurse or doing something of this nature, but it's going to make this positive change within your happiness and the way that you really feel um, within your powerful three, within yourself, or mind, body, soul, and theirs as well, or many people, if you're going to actually take on some family um, thing and go and be of service and be a doctor, nurse, lawyer, something that helps other people and be at service for them. So you're going to bring in this huge positivity that's going to uh, definitely make a mark on yourself and others in a very positive way. Okay. Wow, what a beautiful reading. I just like blown away. I just, the more I think about what I just said and what I've just seen, it just kind of blows me away. I got, I got goosebumps because it is so beautiful that it's almost just like, wow, right? Just the wow stuff. And this is stuff that you can actually hold on to. This isn't just some piece of jewelry 
or something. This is definitely something that is so big that it makes a mark on the soul. So that's what I'm trying to say and others. So wow, beautiful, beautiful reading guys. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.